students welcome to youtube channel vidya for success dear students please notice here on the board i have written a table okay notice here a table is having three columns the first column is uh, giving us the data regarding the serial number the second column indicates age of mothers in terms of years and the third column indicates number of children so we are having totally 20 such pieces of data okay we are having 20 pieces of data available with us we need to understand this data we need to analyze this data is it possible to analyze this data if it is kept in this format no it is not possible so what we will be doing we need to classify them isn't it so please notice here here there are not only one variable involved there are two variables involved num age of an year sorry age of mothers is one variable similarly number of children is another variable so we need to classify the entire data into a table we need to put this data in terms of table so nothing but we need to follow the rules of classifications or principles of classification we need to follow that is nothing but we need to consider what is the lower value here for example ages of mother what is a lower value similar what is the highest value for the age of mother later on we need to know what is the range after finding the range we should know what is the number of classes that can be accommodate followed by that we need to consider what should be the width of that particular class later on all these values need to be formulated in a new table okay but here since there are two variables involved earlier we have studied there was only one variable but now there are two variables involved so this type of uh, representing the data in a table is referred as bivariate frequency distribution okay so in this video we will be studying how to form a bivariate frequency distribution okay so let us continue with finding how to go about finding a bivariate frequency distribution table okay so the least value in the earlier given data was 22 that is a uh, ages of uh, mother among the age data given for ages of mother the least value was 22 and the highest value is 48 is the highest value so first of all we need to find the range range is nothing but highest value hv highest value minus lowest value okay after finding the range next we need to find out how many classes we can accommodate that is number of classes so number of classes is given by the value k k is equal to 1 plus 3.322 log n here what is n value capital n value capital n value we have been given 20 pieces of data okay so n log n value is n value is 20 we need to find what is the log of 20 later on after finding the k value next we need to find the width what is width width can be expressed by the notation c c is equal to or no, range is equal, sorry width is equal to range divided by number of classes that is k so this is the principles of or uh, rules of classification which we need to follow okay so after following all these uh, procedures now let us say we are coming up with the table we need to express we need to represent two variables not only one variable there are two variables to be expressed uh, so how to consider a table here please notice here i'll be considering row as well as column okay i'll be considering row as well as column so i'll be splitting like this okay so here for our sake for our sake please notice here let the first the column the first column indicates age of mother okay so here the column indicates age of mothers how they are expressed they are expressed in terms of years and the rows what they indicate they indicate another variable that variable is number of children okay so number of children number of children so the column of this is the column is first column we are considering the age of years and the rows we are considering the number of children 
So, since the lowest value was 22 among ages of mother, we start with 20. So, always uh, it is better to consider a width of 5. There is a rule width should not be more than uh, what to say 8 or it should not be less than 4. So, let us go with 4, 5. Okay. So, 20 to 25 is the first class interval. Second is 25 to 30, 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 45 and 45 to 50. So, the highest value among the age of mother is 48. Keeping that in mind, we will stop at 50. Now, coming to the number of children. So, the number of children, the lowest value is 0, 0. Okay. So, the lowest value is 0. Next, followed by this. Next, the highest value is followed by 0, 1, 2. It is 0, 0 children. A mother can have only, uh, with no children. A mother can have only one child. Two children, like this. Okay. Three children. 4 followed by 5, 6, 6 and last 7, 6 sorry 6 is the final. So, we will be writing here total. Okay. Similarly, here also at the end of the column value we will be writing considering one more row that is total okay so this is how we are going to we are going to consider a table so the first class 20 to 25 is the first class followed by 25 to 30 is another class 30 to 35 35 to 40 40 to 45 these are the different classes now we need to put forward, we need to fill this particular table. So, how to fill this table? Let us consider the values, okay. The first serial number 1 value. So, given that age of mother is 28 and number of children is only 1. So, let us consider age of mother is 28. So, 28 comes in this particular row 25 to 30. So, it comes in this particular class interval. So, 28 and number of children is 1. So, let us put a tally mark here 1 like this. Okay. Next, the second serial. For second mother what we have uh, made the investigation. Age of the mother is 37 and number of child is 0. So, age of the mother is 37. It comes under the class interval 35 to 40 and number of chil child is of children is. Okay. Please notice here. Earlier, I have considered a table having 20 values of ages of mother with respect to the number of children born to them. Okay. So, now we need to convert those data into a proper table. So, what type of table we are considering? We will be considering a bivariate table, nothing but we can represent two variables. One is number of uh, uh, sorry, ages of mother and another one is number of children. So, please notice here, here in the first column heading, please notice here, first column heading and first cell, I have split it into two. The first, these uh, first column heading is age of mother in terms of years and first row heading is number of children. So, the complete uh, age of mother, the lowest value was 22 in among ages of mother and the highest value was 48. So, I have split them into number of classes. The complete range is split into subclasses here. Okay. So, what are the different classes? I started with 20 to 25. What is the width? I have considered width of 5. So, 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, like this I have considered. Similarly, number of children, only there are 6, 0 to 6 is the data given. So, I have considered indi individually 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here 0, 1, 2, 3 up till 6, they indicate number of children they are considered column wise and in the rows we have considered ages of mothers. From the earlier data that is 20 pieces of data with corresponding to the age of mother and number of children, we need to translate them into this table. Okay. So, I will be considering the first data. The first data is serial number 1, age of mother is 28 and number of children is 1. So, the age of mother is 28, 28 comes in this class interval okay. and number of children is only 1. So, here I consider a tally mark. 
Similarly, for all the piece of data, for all the 20 pieces of data, you'll be considering a tally marks. After considering the tally marks, once all of them is finished, now you can consider the total. So here only one tally mark, here two, again here two, here one, here also one. So we'll be writing what is the total of tally marks within the parenthesis, within the bracket. Okay. So here also one, here one, here also one, two, followed by one, one, two, one and one. Okay. So we will be adding all these tally marks. Now we need to write down what is the frequency corresponding to the class 20 to 25. So what is the total frequency for corresponding to the class 20 to 25? 1 plus 2 plus 3. Let us write it down here. 3. Next followed by here 5. Next 1 plus 1 here 2. Next 1 plus 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next 1 plus 1. 2. Next here, 2. So, let us uh, also go with column. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, uh, 4, 4, 5. Next here, 1, 3, 4, 5. Here it is 3, 1, 2, again 2. Okay, these are the frequencies corresponding to a particular class. Now we need to find what is the total frequency. How to find total frequency? We need to add all these values. Okay. Let us consider all these column values. Okay. So 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus uh, uh, 5 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. Okay. This is the total. This is the total with respect to all these column, column totals. Okay. Now let us add all these row values. So 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 6 uh, is 16, 16 plus 2 is 8, uh, 18, 18 plus 2 is 20. So here the answer is correct. If you add row wise or if you add column wise, you should get a same value. So the capital N value is 20. That is nothing but we have in, done an investigation on 20 mothers. What is their no, number of children they are having? Okay, she is having. So that is a total number. So, this is the bivariate frequency distribution table. Now, we can easily say, for example, there are, look, please notice here, there are six mothers within the age bracket 30 to 40. We can easily say, and similarly, we can say, there are three mothers having only three, having three children. There are three mothers having three children. Similarly, there are five mothers having only one child. So easily we can consider, we can analyze this data easily with when the data are represented in a bivariate frequency distribution table. Next, another uh, topic to be studied in this is uh, what are marginal frequencies? For example, someone asks us, write down the marginal frequency of uh, age of mothers. So how to write the marginal frequencies of age of mothers? So you need to construct a table table will be having only two columns. The first column will indicate age of mothers, mothers and the second column will indicate their frequency. Okay. So, age of mother, for example, here we have started with 20. So, 20 to 25 is the first class, followed by 25 to 30 is the second class. Next, 30 to 35 is another third class, like this. 35 to 40 is another one more class, like this. So, we need to write the corresponding frequency. It starts with 3, 5, 2, 6. So, we will be considering the frequency. So, this is what the marginal frequency meant by what is the frequency corresponding to a particular class, the complete class. So, that is referred as marginal frequency. Similarly, you can also consider marginal frequency distribution for number of children. Once again, you need to create a table where the first column will indicate number of children and second column indicate the, their frequencies. Okay. So, this is how you are going to construct, you are going to form a bivariate frequency distribution table. Okay. So, with this, I am going to end my video. Thank you.